Hi, it's Karen Thaxton with MarketingWords.com. Today I want to show you three pro tips for using the Pretty Links URL Shortener plugin for WordPress sites. We're going to talk about how to cloak affiliate links in several different ways, how to drive more traffic, and how to track success. Prelinks offers several different ways to not only redirect, but also cloak links, track links, and do a lot of other cool things. So here are a few of the ways that Prelinks can help you. The 301 permanent redirect is by far the one that you will probably use the most. This allows you to add the no follow attribute in Pretty Links, and that's primarily what most affiliate marketers are looking for. Not only do you want to disguise the link, you want to be able to use it with your brand, marketingwords.com slash whatever, or your particular website, but you want to be able to add the legally required no follow tag as well. So this is the way that does that, and it's permanent, so it uh, gives you what you need to be able to disguise the link and keep it legal. A 307 is a temporary redirect. That's going to tell Google that something is likely to change later. So it will not hold as much weight as a permanent redirect will. Cloaking can be done with Pretty Links in two different ways. They have a cloak that uh, can hide the address bar but what you need to know if you are an affiliate marketer if you're someone who's interested in passive income a lot of merchants do not allow cloaking because it has been used by some spammers for some pretty sneaky stuff so check with the terms of service of your affiliate marketer if you are someone who is promoting using affiliate links the pretty bar, which is exclusive to pretty links, is another form of cloaking. So again, you can test this, and if it is allowed by the company that you're promoting for, you can use that. Pretty Links also has a very cool pixel feature. You can embed a pixel in a link that will allow you to track you can even go so far as to set up a goal page and track conversions in between the two different pages. You can split that up as well with the amount of traffic you want going to each particular page. So pretty sophisticated for uh, a link tracking tool. And then JavaScript or Meta Refresh redirections essentially do the same thing and these can be used with Google Analytics if you want to set it up that way so that you can track through your analytics program so not just a simple redirect in one type you get several different options here now why don't you want to use just a regular free link shortener well I did that for many many years 20 years ago when I started my company, Marketing Words, uh, I couldn't afford to pay for all this software. So I used the freebies, Bitly, uh, Google, which they didn't have back then, but they have now. But all of these link shorteners now are associated with spam. So most people don't want to click them because they don't trust them. When you use something like a plugin, Pretty Links plugin, uh, for example, that allows you to install the plugin on your website. So now for my company, all of our redirects are marketingwords.com slash whatever we name them. It gives a lot more trust. It lends itself to our branding so that people know that it's from us that we recommend it and it's not going to take them to someplace dangerous or spammy. Let me show you some other things that the Pretty Links plugin can do. We're going to go into my Pretty Links on my WordPress site. And this is a way that I use it 
a lot for tracking the success of different things for tracking where traffic comes from and it's so easy to set up one great thing to use this for is instagram because with instagram unless you have over 10,000 followers or you meet some other criteria the links on instagram you can't copy and you can't click so when I first started using Instagram, I wasn't getting any traffic back to my website, which was frustrating for me. And I decided, well, maybe if I made the links through Pretty Links, because they would then have my Instagram name, Marketing Words, and I would name them something super short, like marketingwords.com slash evergreen, marketingwords.com slash FAQ or something super simple to remember and that actually did the trick. I was able to drive a lot of traffic from Instagram posts to my site where I had seen practically none before. When I look in here I can see the clicks, the total clicks and the unique clicks in my Pretty Links control panel. And I can go through and see, oh, this one did really well. This was a deal that I did through AppSumo. Uh, here's links that came through a particular guide I was offering from a Facebook ad. Here's the guide that I offered in a particular blog post, an evergreen content blog post. That one did significantly better than running the Facebook ad, so I stopped running the Facebook ad. I saved my money and I promoted this evergreen blog post in different ways. So it gives you a quick look to be able to tell what's working for you and what isn't. And it's so simple because if I put the same video out, for example, and I promote it in different places, I can quickly create a pretty link for promoting it on YouTube, for promoting it on Facebook, Instagram, promoting it on my own website, and I can easily log in and say, oh, this one got this many clicks, this one got that many clicks, wow, look at this one, it did much better than the rest, and it gives me a immediate and accurate idea of where that traffic's coming from and what's working better for me so I can save money on Facebook ads if necessary and promote in different ways there's so much that pretty links can do it is far more than an ordinary link shortener so I hope you will check it out I'll leave the link below for you so that you can give it a try it is super affordable and i know that you are going to be able to do so much more and get so much improvement in your online marketing when you're using pretty links thanks so much this is karen thaxton with marketing words go out there and make some money